So I just pulled out this entire piece of hardscape. Okay, well, one hour into the maintenance session and the entire layer is destroyed. Welcome to a new video everybody. I hope you're doing well. So this aquascape right here hasn't really gotten a lot of attention on the channel. It's been a long time since I did a dedicated video about it. And that's basically because I haven't really been enjoying this aquascape. So I set this up in I think July or August last year. And the hardscape was really good. I really liked the hardscape. But after I planted it, it just didn't look very good. I just wasn't really happy with the end result sort of. Because of that, I kind of started to neglect this tank a little bit and we managed to get some algae issues. So what should you do when you're not happy with the aquascape? You should make some changes. So I think a month ago or maybe even five weeks ago, I did a huge maintenance session and a little rescape as well. And that's what I want to share with you today. So sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you at the end of the video. All right, so sometimes an aquarium, an aquascape, just doesn't really turn out the way you kind of thought it was going to turn out or develop the way you thought it was going to develop. It's kind of what happened with this aquascape right here. This is my 40 liter forest style aquascape. And right now it's very overgrown. We have some algae issues as well. But basically for the past two, three months, I haven't really been enjoying this aquascape. So today we're gonna make some changes to the layout. We're gonna first do a huge maintenance session, trim the plants, remove the algae, and then maybe add some new plants, maybe make a small change to the layout, and uh, just to bring back that, that idea that I had in my head, just to bring it back to, yeah, kind of how I was hoping it would turn out. I mean, if you look at this aquarium from a distance like this, it still looks pretty good. I mean, it, it could be a lot worse. But the thing is, with this style of aquascaping, this diorama style, this forest style, it's all about those those details, you know? And I think we've completely lost the details here. Of course, that is because it's overgrown, but also because I made some mistakes with the planting. Uh, I still really like that we have that light patch in the, in the background from the Flux Aqua light screen, of course. But yeah, I mean, the, the sand path is completely gone and everything is just covered in, in moss and, and other plants. And if you come closer, you will start noticing those ugly things like this big patch of hair algae over here. Um, we have some algae on the fissions over here. And there's more algae on this side in the Anubians as well. So yeah, lots of algae issues. And I mean, as you can see, the path is no longer existing. There is no, no longer a path. And another thing that kind of has been bothering me lately is the moss. So I'm quite certain that I have a bit of a plant addiction and I always use way too many plants in my aquascapes. Sometimes this works out, sometimes it looks really good and sometimes it just doesn't work out and it doesn't look good at all. It's kind of what happened here. So this aquascape consists mostly of moss. I mean, the whole foreground, the, the midground is, is all moss. In the background, we have a few stem plants. Of course, me being me, I used four or five different types of moss in here and that just completely didn't make sense. It, I shouldn't have done that. So to kind of show you what I mean, um, over here on the top, on those branches, we have the, the weeping moss coming out. It's also uh, coming down. And then we have fissilins uh, moss, oh, fissilins moss on most of the, the branches. Down low, we have more fissilins and also ricardia. So this here is ricardia moss. And then those really light green patches, that is the pusa varandra moss. So we have four different types of moss. And I think that was yeah, that was a mistake. It just makes it look messy. It makes it look unorganized. And it's, yeah, it just doesn't look natural in, in my opinion. If I would have just, just stick with the Fissinens moss, the Phoenix moss, and maybe some Ricardia here and there, then the overall picture would have been a lot more, yeah, a lot more zen, I think. So I think the, the best way to go about this is to first trim the stem plants, all the background plants, just cut it short. Then we're going to have more space to work with. Step number two will be to remove a lot of the moss. So I'm probably just going to stick with the Fissidens and the Ricardia in the other two times we will go. Uh, step number three will be to I think change the hardscape a little bit. I'm still not really happy with the left side here. So make, make some small changes there. And uh, step number four will be to freshen up the, the sand path a little bit. Step number five, probably some replanting of the, the tops from the stem plants and Maybe add some new plants as well, and then we should be good. And of course, not to forget the algae issues. Um, I think if we just trim most of the plants, trim most of the moss, then the algae issues are going to be gone as well. So 
yeah, that's just something that will happen along the way. So that is the right side background pretty much done. All the plants in here looking really healthy, so that's good. And they will, they're gonna grow back in no time. Um, there was barely any uh, hair algae in between here, so that's also good. I'm gonna go over these plants a second time with the scissors later, just to make it a nice straight line, but for now we're good. Now we're gonna move on to the left side. Okay, so that was the background. Now we're gonna move on to this top part right here, because it just looks messy. Um, like there's a lot of, there's actually mold in this piece of moss right here. This is really big, it's creating a lot of shadow for the plants underneath. And yeah, it's just not really serving a purpose. So I'm just gonna remove most of the moss here. So I've literally just ripped out all of those patches from the top area. Um, and that instantly creates more light in the bottom area. So that's good, that's exactly what we need. Now I've left tiny bits of moss on each twig. So that's gonna grow back, it's gonna look much better. Um, and I think I'm gonna do exactly the same over here basically. I'll just rip out, rip out large sections of moss, but just uh, just leaving tiny, tiny bits of it. It's gonna grow back and it's gonna look, it's gonna look fine but we'll have less moss and more of the hardscape visible and that's kind of what I'm going for here. So I just pulled out this piece, entire piece of hardscape. It was really loose and it's fine, we can easily place it back, but it's kind of a good example because if you look over here, like we have a like a mix of different types of mosses. And this looks very natural in my opinion. This is kind of what I was after. But then you have also this. So this is like an entire patch of Ricardia. This just looks very unnatural. So we're gonna remove this and just leave tiny bits of moss on it, just like that. Maybe a little bit more. And just by leaving a little bit, it's gonna start mixing with the other mosses and it's gonna look a lot more natural. So I'm gonna keep this piece out for now. We're gonna remove more moss as we go. And then later on we can fix this, it's no problem. So we kind of have the same thing going here with this patch of fissidens. It's just very thick, it doesn't look very natural and it's creating a huge block of shadow on the bottom here. So I'm just going to pull it off. And it's gonna grow back at some point. And then we can just pull it off again. Okay, we're well, one hour into the maintenance session and the entire layer is destroyed. I didn't think this was gonna happen. I didn't think it was gonna be this bad, but the aquarium is really, really dirty. Like every time I pull out a little bit of moss, this whole cloud of dirt just gets blown into the water. Uh, so I'm gonna keep going. Uh, some of you guys probably think that I'm really destroying the layout. Maybe I am, but it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be, it's gonna be good again. Just, just trust me. The next day. But it's now the next day, and this is the current situation of the tank. Honestly, I think it looks a lot better already. So yesterday, after I recorded that last clip, I spent another hour just kind of cleaning the tank a little bit. So I did a few water changes, and I kind of picked off some more moss on places where I didn't want it. Um, so I think, yeah, I think right now it actually looks really good already. But we're not even, yeah, we're not even close to being done yet. We still have a lot of work to do. Um, today, I want to start tackling this left side area here. I'm just not really happy with how that looks. I think on the right side, we have a nice graduation starting with the rocks and then it's, it's slowly moving up towards the wood. And here it's just kind of, yeah, it's just a little bit messy. So we're gonna, we're gonna change that. So once this left area here is kind of fixed up, uh, we can start thinking about yeah, replanting and maybe removing some old plants. So yes, they pulled off a lot of the moss and over here you see some, some of the patches of glue. So we need to cover that up with moss again. So that's gonna take some time. And also, 
Yeah, I'm gonna add some new plants. I have some really small uh, bush of lander that I want to add. And I'm thinking of removing these small um, anubias here. I think I'm just gonna stay, stick with bush of lander. <laughs> So now we've exposed the rock a little bit more here and I think that looks a lot better already. Now one thing that's still bothering me is the, the big gap that we have over here. I think we need to close the line here just kind of like we did over here on with this piece of wood. So I'm gonna find a nice piece of wood for, for the front area here. Okay, so I just filled up the tank completely with water. Uh, I just wanted to see for myself if it really looks good cool with that new piece of wood. I think it looks good. It would have been even better if it was just sticking out the water just a little bit. But it is what it is. I think once we covered it with moss a little bit, it's gonna look amazing. So next step is to <laughs> drain the tank again and start replanting. So on those big twigs here, you see a lot of the white spots from the glue. So we wanna cover it up with some more moss. And this new piece of wood covered it up with moss as well. And then I've also got my Bush of Landra collection. Uh, so I have some really nice clumps here. Look at this. How good does that look? Just want to add some more small boosts to the aquarium just to give it a bit more detail. And yeah, I think uh, I think then we're good. Oh, I have one more background plan as well, but I'll show you later. Okay, so I think we're ready with the uh, Bush Vlandera and the moss. Now, one thing that this cape was really missing before was like a little touch of red. Like it was pretty much entirely green. We had a little bit of, yeah, a little touch of brown, red with the Bush Vlandera, but not really something that was really popping. And so this is what we're gonna add right now. That's what I have right here. So in this vase, I have a plant that I bought three weeks ago. I just didn't have anywhere else to put it. So I put it in this vase, covered it with some cling film and I put it in the window. And it's been doing actually, actually fine just there. Uh, what we have in here is Rotala Walichi. This is like a really fine, delicate stem plant with some beautiful red, pinkish leaves. So that's gonna look absolutely amazing, I think, in this cape. So we're gonna plant this right now in the background and then we're almost done with the, <laughs> with the entire transformation. So that was basically how the maintenance session ended. Afterwards, I also tried a different sand, but it was way too bright, so I just siphoned it out again. Now, my plan was to, to release the video about this process after two or three weeks when the scape had grown in a little bit more. The Rotala had, a had turned a nice red color and that new piece of wood had darkened a little bit, so it wouldn't stand out as much. But uh, as the weeks went by, <laughs> like nothing was really happening. I mean, the plants were growing back. But the rotala didn't grow at all and the piece of wood also didn't change color so it took a little bit longer than expected unfortunately the rotala never really started growing like it's still there but it still looks exactly the same i think we have one or two red tips that you can barely see so 
I think next time if I run into an in vitro pot of Rotala Volici, I'll try it again. Maybe it will work better with in vitro. Uh, so yeah, the piece of wood also didn't change color. Uh, it was really it was a bit of an eyesore, it was really standing out. So I just covered it up with some more Ricardia moss. Yeah, overall, I'm really happy with the, uh, the changes that we made. I think it looks a lot better right now. Still not entirely happy, but that's fine. It's nice to make these small changes once in a while. But that is the end of the video. Really hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to smash the like button. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done this yet. And consider becoming a member. I would really appreciate that. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.